Psalm chapter 140, verse 1, and it reads, Deliver me, O Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweshai, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man, which imagine mischiefs in their heart. Continually are they continually are they gathered together for war. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere occupants. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of what people are here for, bear the violent man, the evil man, the psychopath, the harbinger of death, sleazy E. Look, man, our, our people think everything is a joke. They think everything is a game. No, the scriptures say this man's getting ready to come down with great wrath. Everybody think they're going to be, be millionaires and billionaires in a couple of months. You know, in a couple of years, you can just be billionaires. Man, you're going to be in a concentration camp somewhere <laughs> in a couple of months. Maybe a year sooner. Yeah, this is the year of turn up. The Lord said this generation. He's going to release his anger in this time, man, this age. But Jay think they're going to be entrepreneurs, get rid of their own Fortune 500 companies. Are, are, are they not um, seeing the prophecies? Are they not keeping up? The scriptures say measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when you start to see all these signs, you know it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. The Lord is on his way, man. And the scriptures say, and if he don't come in a nick of time, ain't no flesh going to be saved. Because this devil, we're going to get it. So let's get this again, though. So that's why we got to constantly pray to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Remember, man, the whole setup, you know what I'm saying, is demonic. The whole setup is demonic, and it's going to get worse, man. We need deliverance, man. We need saving because we're not saved yet, man. Psalms 140. Just burning some early morning oil. Psalm chapter 140, verse 1. Deliver me, this is King David. Deliver me, O Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, from the evil man, from an evil man, from a wicked man, from a base man, an evil nation of people. Sleazy E, Esau Edom, deliver us, O Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, preserve me. When you preserve something, you keep it safe. You see, you keep it from being tainted, you keep it from being polluted. With the cares and affairs and the philosophies and doctrines of this world, right? Preserve me from the violent man. But oh yeah, Israel still voting. It's, it's, it's mind boggling too. Especially you old heads. You old so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The majority of them, you got to, it's, it's always an exception to the rule. But the majority of you old heads, y'all gone, man. Y'all been through. Still voting. You know what I'm saying? For, for, for the Senate. <laughs> looking, looking real through out there, man. But but nah, not the whole for that. We, we we get it. We get it. Which imagine mischiefs in their heart, in their mind. It's the only thing they think about. You know what I'm saying? It's how to control the earth and wickedness. Ain't making nothing good for you. Are they are they, look continually are they gathered together for war? Cause that's that man MO. Matter of fact, let, let's just get that. That's this is man's MO. Israel ain't going to get it until it's too late anyway. But that's why these lessons that we do only for the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. That's, the, that's who the lesson's for. You know, let's get this. This is man M.O. The scripture says continually are they gathered together for war, man. St. John 10 and 10, the thief, sleazy is this red letter. This Lord Yahweh Shai speaker, who they're going to call Jesus, right? He says a thief, sleazy E. Esau Edom, the thief coming not, but, but for to steal and to kill and destroy. They're all like, y'all, they, they gather together for war continually. Only thing they think about is war, 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 destruction, 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 robbing, 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 thieving, 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 schemes, plots, tricks. And we're not ignorant of it. We know, we know perfectly what time it is. The Lord said, I ain't got to write it to you what time it is. You already know because you're watching. you watching and you're praying. We most definitely need to pray. Kick, kick your prayer to high gear, Israel. 
You see, the scripture says we fight or not, we fight not against flesh and blood, but principalities, wickedness, and high places, man. This is a demonic place. St. John 10 and 10. Shit, I was I was fighting demons in my sleep. You know what I'm saying? Not too long ago. Early this damn morning. Come on, man. We gotta get out of here, man. We're constantly being watched through the damn TV, through the through the everything, through the damn they listening to us through the phones. No privacy whatsoever. Why? Because a thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. And that's it. And the sooner you Israelites realize that, the better off you'll be. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. So we haven't lived yet. Do you, do you not hear what the scriptures are saying, Israel? We haven't lived yet. Haven't drunk real water yet. Haven't ate real food yet. Haven't had a real relationship yet. Haven't owned anything yet. Nothing is ours. All right? We need the Lord, man. We need, we need the Lord, man. For real, for real, man. Look, look. Never trust thy enemy. Cause this, this is how he's coming. Yeah, he's coming with a smile. I love you. Smooth words. I'm, I'm gonna get that too, Lord willing. This is a revelation. You, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta like the lessons. They get ready to do away with the internet. So come talk some hate speech. Hate speech. Promoting this. Promoting that. Come on, man. We're promoting the truth. And the truth is hate speech. Remember, the truth, T-R-U-T-H, is hate speech, man. The truth, man. The truth according to the Bible. Not just any truth, but the truth according to the Bible. They don't like it, man. Because it reveals who they are. And, and it reveals who we are. It reveals who's, who everybody is. Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Look, we one day closer. One day closer to it all being over. Once this man come in like a madman, the Lord going to lift up a standard against him, man. Like he, uh, the Lord always lift, lifted up a standard when anybody came against the Lord's servants, the prophets. Remember, he, he reproved kings for their sakes, man. Just, we just got to keep doing the Lord's bidding and his will. To be protected, Lord willing, Yahweh Bashim, I'm sure I keep their spirit in us to do what is right, man. It feels good to be on the side of the Lord. It feels good to condemn the wicked. It feels good to rebuke, reprove, exhort with all long suffering using the words of the Bible. It feels good, man. And that comes with its hardships, you know, that straight gate. But, but the path that we're on leads to eternal life, man. That's what we're fighting for. That's what we're crying for, right? It says, it says for the devil has come down unto you, the devil, the deceiver, the slanderer. Always trying to make us look bad and always trying to make himself look like he's a saint. He ain't doing nothing wrong. Every time you turn around, boom, 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 just, just dropping it. Dropping it like it's hot. But we the bad guys, though, right? The, the men on the corner teaching the Bible, we're the bad guys. What does scripture say? For the devil has come down unto you. The deceiver, the slanderer, the sleazy eat has come down unto you. Having great wrath because he knoweth, he knoweth, he knoweth. Israel, he knoweth that he have but a short time, a short time to rule Israel. This man know that, man. That's, that's why he's making everything digital. People, people don't see what's going on. Hell, I went to the grocery store yesterday, and you don't want to go to the grocery store, man. Shit, all I got was some damn chicken wings. I got what? I got some chicken wings, um, two things of um, turkey. Turkey slices. Shit, man. I only got, I, I didn't get 10 items. And it came up to, to what, 50 something dollars. I didn't even get 10 items, man. Got some small shit. You know? This man coming down with great wrath on everything, yo. Rent then went up. Grocery then went up. Look, grocery then went up. Look, people at the grocery store were looking sad as hell. Shit, women bras was expensive as hell. And everything else, man. So this devil getting ready to come down. Look, concentration camps already ready, but oh yeah, we're, we're the crazy guys though, right? We, we, we don't know what we're talking about, right? Well, well, we know what the scriptures is talking about. We know what the Lord is talking about. You see? We, we know what the Lord is talking about. 
The uh, Lord, Lord said, watch as well as pray. Um, let's see. I got two more, and then I'm gonna wrap it up because I got I got a roll. <laughs> Go get this daily bread, man. Thankful for it. Constantly praying for all the Akim, man. All the sincere Akims, man. And, and, and the few sisters, man. Just taking heed to this word to the best of their ability. This is um Psalms 55. And um, what is it? Bear with me. You get 21. Psalms 55, 21, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter. Talking about sleazy e Esau, eat them, right? His words are always smoother than butter. But war was in his heart. Remember, continually are they gathered together for war, but war was in his heart and his mind. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're literally at war, Israel. Literally. Literally, man. His words were softer than all, yet were they drawn swords. Yet yeah, were they drawing swords. Look, look, look. The natives went through it. The so-called Native American Indians, they, they went through it. Trusting in this man, believing in this man, thinking he was going to do the right thing. He's not going to do the right thing. Turn back to the Lord. Turn back to your howl by Shimei. That's, that's your only chance, really. That's our only chance, really. Proverbs 3. And five, trust in the Lord with all thine heart, all your mind. Trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahushua with all your mind. All thine heart, all your mind, and lean not into thy own understanding. We, we got to stop leaning into our own understanding, man. Trust in what the Lord is saying. This is my last one. I'm going to wrap it up. And you ain't got to believe us. I'm not doing this lesson for Israel to believe. But, but the Israelites that don't take heed, the Israelites that don't believe, the Lord is going to bring evil, evil upon you, man. Habakkuk 2 and 3. And it reads, let's get it. Habakkuk chapter 2. Evil. Remember, the Lord said he came to bring plagues, storms, floods, chaos, mayhem, wars. You see? Habakkuk 2 and 3. When that famine going to be sore, man, See, the, the Lord said the sword arrows of famine. Look, remember ancient Egypt? Our forefather Joseph, you know what I'm saying, had that vision of saying the store of wheat and all that stuff, man. Because it was bad. You know I think it was bad for like seven years. So that famine going to be so serious, Israel. I told you I went to the grocery store yesterday. and I'm, I'm, I got a couple. I didn't even get 10 items. It was $50, man. It's getting ready to go down, man. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be a famine of the words, gonna be a famine of food and bread. These people are gonna go crazy out here. That's why seek the Lord, Israel. Seek the Lord, man. Brothers been having vision of how man, the, the prophets of old had vision. Then you got brothers in 2022 having visions of how bad it got, and they woke up shaking and everything, man. Shaking and everything, man. This ain't no joke. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, meaning the prophecies. Therefore, an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak. And we at the end is speaking loud and clear. And not lie. Because this is the truth. Though it tarry, though it seem like it's taking a long time, wait for it. Because it will surely come. It will not tarry. The Lord is on his way. But before the Lord come, all hell got to break loose first. Israel, turn back, Israel. This might be your last chance, Israel. Turn the hell back. To who they really call God and Jesus, Yahweh. He is, he exists, and his only begotten son, who they really call Jesus, Yahweh shot. He saves, he delivers, man. It's going down, man. Shalom.